Hi, I'm Jimmy. In this video, we're looking at five value stocks that are from different sectors and different market caps. So we came up with these value stocks by looking at the valuation methods that are most appropriate for each company's individual sector. Okay, so let's jump right in. So our first company is Citigroup, ticker symbol C. Now this company is actually the largest company on our list. And as you can see here, our best valuation method for a bank is price to book value. By the way, this is our Investors Grow website. This is the website we're using throughout this entire video. If you want to get access to this, link in the description below. So the way we can read this chart for Citigroup stock is we want the price to book value to be below the 10-year average. With that, we can see that the current price to book value compared to the 10-year average, that the current price to book value is a little bit lower. In fact, if we check this chart over here, well, we can see that the fair value of Citigroup stock using price to book value would be about $71 per share. And again, price to book value is a solid valuation method to use for most banks and insurance companies. Okay, so now let's check out some of the numbers. Now, I want to point out that Citigroup is actually a company that I personally own. But here's the Achilles heel for Citigroup at this point. This is a chart of revenue. And looking at this chart, you might see the same thing that I saw. And that is, look at that. It's gone a whole bunch of nowhere for the past decade. And that's been the problem. So over the past few years, they brought in a new team and they're trying to ramp up revenue, trying to generate growth once again. This is the very reason that Citigroup is currently trading at a discount compared to many other banks. So when I say that this one's a value stock, the real question is, do we believe that growth will once again re be reignited at Citigroup? I personally do, which is why I own a position in it. But I do understand that there's a bit of hesitation with their lack of growth. Now, perhaps Citigroup is a bit too much of a, it's too safe. Maybe there's not enough upside for you, considering it's kind of a turnaround story. But we actually have another bank that's a similar turnaround story but a bit more upside. And that is New York Community Bank. By the way, this we didn't count this in our top five. This is kind of a bonus stock. Well, this is New York Community's bank price to book value. So we can see that their price to book value is below all of their long-term averages. In fact, this is their 10-year average. And using their 10-year averages, we can see in this table, the fair value of this stock would be about $11 per share. Right now, the stock's trading a little over $3 per share. So this one, there's significantly more upside but there is a bit more risk. So basically, what happened with this bank is they ran into some trouble with their New York commercial real estate. This is the bank that ran into some liquidity problems, and they had Steve Mnuchin, who was the former head of the Treasury, they had him come in and put in about a billion dollars. It was him and a couple other companies put in about a billion dollars of capital, and they replaced all of management, and they're basically in the midst of a turnaround. Now. I do not personally own this one, but I have been doing research on it. I'll probably come out with a video on this one at some point in the near future because, as we can see from a value perspective, it looks like there's a decent amount of upside. Okay, let's go on now to our next company, which is actually a home builder. This is our second value stock. So we can see on our DCF calculator here that the fair value is coming in at about $88 per share. The current price is about $70 per share, giving us an upside of about 20%. By the way, for all of these calculations, we're actually using default numbers. So it's three years of analyst estimates, and then we assume that the company grows at our perpetual growth rate, which is 2.5%. So if anything, we're being a bit conservative if we think the company is going to have any sort of reasonable growth more than 2.5%, then our numbers will be conservative. So this 20% upside are using those fairly conservative numbers. Okay, now let's jump in and look at some of their numbers. So this is revenue. So as we can see in this 10-year revenue chart, the trend has been higher. Now, one thing to keep in the back of our mind is that right now, interest rates are fairly high relative to recent years. And there's talk about interest rates at some point in the near future being lowered again. Well, if interest rates were to drop, you would think that home builders would do fairly well from that, or at least the housing market could once again continue to grow, which should help a home builder like this. Then when we jump over to free cash flow for KB Homes, well, we can see that over the past decade, outside of 2020, 
since 2014, all of the years for KB Homes has had positive free cash flow. By the way, blue bars are historical numbers. Green bars are analyst estimates. And these are the exact three years of analyst estimates we use in our discounted cash flow calculation. This is why I say that the number is fairly conservative. It's not like those the growth of free cash flow using analyst estimates has been all that aggressive. So if we're looking for a smaller home builder, this could be a good one to consider. Okay, now let's jump over to our next value stock, which is a retailer, and that's American Eagle Outfitters. So according to our discounted cash flow calculator, the fair value for AEO is about $24 per share. Right now, the stock's trading a bit over 20. So we get about a 10% upside. Not, as, not quite as big as KB Homes, but still a decent upside considering this one also pays a dividend. Now, when we jump over and look at their revenue, what we can see, just like we saw with KB Homes, Revenue has been consistently growing, which is not too bad considering they're a retailer. And then when we jump over to look at their free cash flow numbers, and again, this is using analyst estimates. Green bars are analyst estimates, and those are the exact same bars that are being used in the discounted cash flow calculator. I'd also like to point out that the assumption is after this, after that third year there, that 387 will grow by 2.5% per year. That's kind of the baseline assumption with the DCF calculator. If we think growth is going to be at all better than that, then our 10% potential upside here is a bit conservative. Okay, now let's jump over to our next value stock. So this one's called CorePay. And basically what this company does is they help facilitate corporate payments. Let's imagine an employee is going to buy gas on the company's expense. This, the company, this company processes those payments. Well, we can see that this stock has a fair value of about a $337 per share. Right now, the stock is trading right around $255, $260. Well, that's an upside of a bit more than 20%. Okay, now let's jump over and look at their revenue numbers. So we can see that their blue bars, they've only got a few of them. That's why here we've added revenue estimates according to analysts. We can see that broadly speaking, the trend is higher. Then when we jump in over and look at their free cash flow numbers, once again, free cash flow is climbing considering the companies, we've only got limited data for how long this company has been trading. But again, this is the actual analyst estimates we're using to come up with our free cash flow where we saw a 23% upside. So if you're looking for a smaller cap company, this could be an interesting one to do some research on. Okay, now let's jump over to our next value stock, which is more of a mid cap stock, and that is PACCAR, ticker symbol PCAR. What this company does, they build trucks, big trucks, We're talking 18 wheelers, and they do truck parts and they do some finance. It's the basics of how they build their business. And we can see that the fair value for this stock is coming in about $127 per share. Right now, the current price is right around $110 per share. So we got almost a 15% upside. And then when we jump in and look at their revenue numbers, well, we can see that over the past decade, and including analyst estimates, revenue numbers are drifting higher. Then when we jump in and look at free cash flow, well, we can see that the story looks even more interesting over there. Now, this company is about a $53 billion company. And oftentimes, smaller companies, they have much lower free cash flow as they try to ramp up their numbers and get some economies to scale. But at some point, a lot of companies, especially when they hit that mid to larger cap range, start to pivot and try to push out to get better free cash flow numbers, better profit numbers, and it kind of looks at an early glance that like pack cars at that point now. So those are our top five value stocks. Six, if you want to include New York Community Bank, let me know what value stocks you have in your bullpen and which ones you think are should have been on this list that were not. And again, if you want to sign up to get access to the Investors Grow website, I will leave a link in the description below. And if you're curious how to research stocks, I got a video, Eight Steps to Analyze the Stock. Thank you so much for sticking with me all the way to the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.